Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and it is good to be home. Super jet lag, but good to be home. And with that, let's talk about why we can't have nice things like unlimited storage. Now this is coming from Gizmodo, but I think this article really is indicative of a greater problem that we're going to see longitudinally. Now here's what's going on, and this is about Dropbox. Now I don't have a Dropbox account beyond having like a free, I don't know, two gig Dropbox account when people send me files via Dropbox, but a ton of people use it. And heads up, because this is going to get interesting, they're no longer offering new customers unlimited cloud storage. They're saying that basically crypto miners and other people like that are pooling and reselling their space. And I think that's really interesting. Now, Dropbox said the unlimited plan was originally geared for companies that were working in shared spaces. Dropbox complained that people were pooling their unlimited storage together for, quote, personal use cases, end quote, while others were reselling storage to other people. Now, at the same time, the company pointed to its finger basically at Chia. Now, if you don't know what Chia is, it's a cryptocurrency that actually uses a unique kind of mining, mining apparatus that is dependent on storage space, not GPUs. So instead of the proof of work consensus model by Bitcoin or the proof of stake model uh, that Ethereum uses, Chia uses a proof of space and time concept, which basically is centered on a storage-based consensus mechanism. As described by Decrypt, the publication, Chia essentially eschews the need for GPUs for crypto mining. That's a process that obviously that eats up a ton of space and energy, uh, and, and, and we've talked about just how much energy crypto mining has consumed, and, and, and so Chia takes a different approach. And so they offer crypto rewards to users based on plots of up to 100 gig of storage space that is essentially staked out on hard drives. Now, this basically is obviously crypto, and so people have been looking to game the system by staking plots on cloud cloud-based platforms that offer instantaneous file transfers. Farmers have mentioned using both uh, Google Drive and Dropbox for Chia mining as well. So this exploded the total space that Dropbox owns overall in total. Quote, we've observed that customers like these frequently consume thousands of times more storage than our genuine business customers, which risk creating an unreliable experience for all of our uh, customers. Now, the company said that they would rather not create a long list of do's and don'ts for unlimited plan, so they're switching to a metered model. Dropbox, Dropbox Advance now supports 15 terabytes of share that's shared equally among three licenses. The description is like 30 bucks per user per month, and Advance uh, does allow customers to buy up to basically a petabyte, 1,000 terabytes of data storage uh, at the extreme end. Obviously, you're gonna pay for that, <coughs> and that cost will far outweigh what you would make on Chia, and there you go, there's the balance. Now, Dropbox obviously isn't the only cloud storage company that is deciding to basically remove or revoke the unlimited side and move to limited. Over the past few use years, Google has done the same thing uh, and, and they've essentially uh, ended unlimited photo cloud storage you know Amazon got rid of a free edition because they found it was being abused etc cetera, etc cetera. so uh, on top of this more recently Google moved to a kind of pooled storage model for business accounts and just a few months afterwards users who once thought that their Google workspace enterprise storage was unlimited found out that it simply wasn't and I think this is one of those things that we're going to see you know perpetually and, and, and it's really sucks because this is really isn't why we can't have nice things you know so for example uh you know we here use a cloud online based storage you know we've got needs for things like FedRAMP and all those kinds of things if you're familiar with FedRAMP it's a pretty stringent government standard uh, that federal agencies have to use and if you're a private contractor uh you have to use FedRAMP as well to ensure that whatever you're storing uh you know for the government whatever they're giving you and uh, typically CUI or control and classified information is stored properly and we pay for essentially unlimited storage here and it's not like we are consuming an you know, enormous amount. We have terabytes of storage, you know, protected, hardened, encrypted, et cetera, in the cloud. But, but there are always going to be abusers to that system. And so I think Dropbox personally is making the wrong move. I've never, to be perfectly honest, in full disclosure, been a Dropbox fan. Uh, you know, they covered up a massive data breach, et cetera, et cetera. And then it came out to light years later. And then it got even worse years later, et cetera, et cetera. But nevertheless, when you're looking at, you know, one of the largest players in this industry and one of the oldest players in this industry basically reversing course that's obviously a very serious issue obviously they are buying space in data centers or building their own data centers and that costs them money 
And so essentially the unlimited versions of stuff basically run on balance. Some clients, you know, are going to pay the same as other clients and those clients, the client A is going to store one tenth of what client B does. It all averages out its laws of average over time. And so you're slowly growing your infrastructure footprint if you're a Dropbox on that assumption. But when you've got people that are using tens of thousands of times more <clears throat> right out of the gate, you start consuming all the oxygen in the room, you know, all this, all the hard drives in the data centers. So that's a big issue. And so I think there has to be rules around this. Personally, if I was Dropbox or Google, you know, I would say, hey, if you're going to go that route or we're seeing something that looks like massive abuse, your account is going to get flagged for review. And, you know, per the contractual license for that, uh, you know, this is fine. So if uh, the average company is using, I don't know, five terabytes and you suddenly are pushing a petabyte, you know, worth of data through the system, that's going to get that's going to get flagged, especially if you're like one user, two users or three users. I mean, most people don't don't have that. I remember getting into a fight with an unlimited storage provider. I want to say like 20 years ago when I uploaded about seven terabytes worth of data. And they told me originally, oh, yeah, it's a lot of averages. You know, some of our clients can do more space than others. Back in the day, about seven terabytes was quite a lot of space. But there obviously was no such thing as crypto mining back then. And I remember receiving a call from them basically saying, uh, hey, it's the cloud storage provider using what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know, and so so that is a very real possibility. But if if you've got people abusing it, and you're as big as a Dropbox, you're not gonna be picking up the phone or sending emails to these people. But I would I would recommend, you know, those businesses that are legitimately using it should be able to maintain or new businesses that are looking to move to Dropbox to uh, to buy that one of the things that we look for is unlimited space, because we may outstrip the 15 terabytes or whatever that advanced does, but maybe that's 20, not 200. You know, so so there you go. Obviously, people are going to have different opinions, but I just think everybody should be cool with each other. And if you are crypto mining and you, you are using Chia, dude, like don't don't ruin it for the rest of us. I, we want nice things. And, and if you can't if you make it so we can't, we're not going to be cool with you. We're really not. So there you go. Take it for what it's worth. That is your news of the day. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP for as long as Twitter exists. And same for threads at Nick AESP. Uh, and also, please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please attempt to stay private. Thanks, everybody.